Okay, so to start off with, we wanna just make sure the computer is fully turned off. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the plug and we're gonna be taking off the back panel. Okay, so on the back panel of your PC, you should see these two screws, one here and one down at the bottom here. I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew these to get the panel off. Oop, just drop that one and we'll take out the second one. And then this bit here is probably pulling off the panel. Okay, so now we are in the back of the PC and like I said, I know it looks a bit scary back here, but trust me, it is really easy to get this thing out. I'm gonna show you guys right now how you do it. Okay, so this box right here is the power supply unit. This thing is what you plug it into and it feeds power all through here, through all these cables throughout the whole PC. Now, like I said, do not get scared away if you're not good with PCs because this is really easy to do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the PC round because we first need to unplug this wire and this wire from the front end of the motherboard. So let me show you guys how that's done. Okay, here we are at the front side of the PC and this right here is the motherboard. So the first cable that we're gonna wanna pull out here is this one. So be careful with it, there's a little clip on this side. Just push the clip in and it will pull out pretty easy. You just gotta you know, wiggle it around a little bit and just like that it has pulled out. The second one we wanna pull out is this cable right here that says CPU on it. This is the cable that of course powers the CPU. So this one's gonna be a bit harder to get out because of where it is, but you just gotta try your best to get in there and pull it out. Okay, we finally got that out. Just because it's such an awkward place and if your hands are like average size, not tiny, it's gonna be very, very hard to get in there. So I had to get my hands in like some weird positions to fit in there, but as you can see, we've got it unplugged now and we've also got the other one unplugged. All right, here we are at the back of the PC again. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this wire through and then you have SATA cables here as well, which it is connected to. And it's really easy to disconnect these SATA cables. You literally just pull it out just like that and it will be disconnected from this. And the next thing we wanna do here is we've got our scissors and be very careful not to cut any wires. I mean, it wouldn't really matter anyways because this is the 40 supply unit and it's not connected to any of the mains. So it shouldn't like short circuit or mess this up because this is already broken. Um, but still, maybe you don't wanna cut the wires. You might be able to use this for something in the future. We're just gonna go ahead and clip off the cable ties. We're just gonna do the same for this wire, which was the CPU wire. We're just gonna cut off these cable ties. Okay, and that is the last one down. Now the last thing we need to disconnect is this wire that runs into here, which is also really easy to take out. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out. Again, it's just a SATA cable that's been stuffed in there. And we're just gonna unplug that SATA cable. Just got closer so you guys can see what we're doing here. I've just pulled these wires out of the way. As you can see, it's still connected to this thing here, which again, unplugs very simply just like that. And now all the wires are disconnected from the actual PC. All we've got to do is unscrew this box and get it out of there. And like everything else in this video, this is super, super easy to do. This is the final step. All you need to do is take off these four screws here and we are done. And this will come out simply like that. You just need to push it back. That is our power supply unit and just need to pull it out. And that is it. Uh, this is a brand new one that just came in the post from Corsair. Uh, so let's jump straight into it. Okay, we've got this unboxed. Here we have the power supply unit. And of course the power cable we're gonna need to actually power this thing. And all you're gonna wanna do to start things off with is get your power supply unit. And this empty section down here at the bottom of the PC is where we're gonna be putting it. Um, obviously this bit is gonna be facing outwards. So it's facing out here because that is where your power plug is going to plug into. So yeah, first thing you want to do is just get that in there. And now you just want to line it up so that the holes on the power supply unit, the screw holes, match up with the holes on your uh, PC. All right, there we go. I've got those on. Um, haven't screwed them in too tight. And that is step one of getting the power supply unit installed. Now you've got it in the position you want it in. We're gonna get these cables plugged into all the places they need to be. Okay, we're gonna start off by connecting the two uh, main wires, which is this one. You'll obviously be able to tell which one it is because it's got a load of wires running through it. And then the second one is this one, which is the CPU wire. A very, very important wire. 
make sure you've got it connected up properly. Now this one very simply just pushes through there for now and then we're going to turn the computer around in a second I'll show you guys exactly where you need to put it and then you want to get your CPU wire and it's going to push through this little gap in your PC up here or I mean wherever your PC is I mean your PC might not be laid out exactly the same as ours um, but you're going to want to push it through all right we'll start with the first one which is a really easy wire to connect you just need to pull it around um, it will curve just make sure that these arches line up with these ones and just plug it in like that and there you go that is the second step of setting up the PSU so now we're going to do the um, annoying wire which is the CPU wire uh, this thing is fiddly as hell to get in okay so here we are we're zoomed in and the CPU plug needs to go into this little bit here in the top of your uh, PC here we have the actual wire that I've just fed through if I can get my hands on it alright <laughs> we got it through so here we have the CPU wire and pretty much all you need to do is bend it backwards I can't really show you because my hands in the way but you want to plug it into there pretty much and try your best not to bend the pins inside because that is not going to be good news for you so whilst this is really frustrating to do try not to lose your temper and end up breaking your whole pc there you go it's plugged in now i'm going to turn the pc back around that's all you need to do on the front end of it is that cpu wire and this wire with all these um additional wires inside of it all right so here we are at the back of the pc again and there's a few more cables that you need to hook up your ones might be different to the ones I've got, but even if they are, just follow it step by step. The only difference is going to be uh, your connectors look different, but they'll, they should be in the same place. So our ones have SATA cables, which are the ones that look like this, and they connect to these things here. So here's the first one we're going to plug in. They hook up really easily, just like that. So just a closer look at this connection. Here we have the two SATA cables connected together now. And then we also have another pair of SATA cables that we're going to connect to down here. Okay, I'll just pull this out of the way. Inside this little box area down here, you will find another SATA cable. And then also on this thing here, this is also a connector uh, which we need to plug into. And basically, in case you don't know, these things like SATA cables and stuff like that, these are all for like powering your um, fans and other like accessories you have inside your PC. Uh, your LEDs and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and plug this into this and boom, just like that. They connect really, really easily and that's that one out of the way. And now this one, like I said, is going to plug in to uh, this thing here. And that is in. That's it. That's all the cables. These are just excess cables if you have extra SATA stuff inside your PC that you want to hook up and power uh, for your power supply unit. If not, then you can just stuff them away. There is still plenty of space under here, so we're just going to go ahead and stuff the rest of the cables inside there because we do not need them. Next thing we're going to do is just cable tie these all up so it's a bit neater. 